All right, fuckers, welcome back to another ECW TV show. Uh, re-show, review, god damn it, fucking review, botchamania here, man, already. Uh, yeah, so this was for the September 19th, 1995 show, and all I want is to straight up the bat, man, this was a, in my opinion, this was much better than last week's. We kicked off the show with an insane Mick Foley slash Cactus Jack, whoever you want to call him, Mick Foley, Cactus Jack, dude love, mankind, doesn't fucking matter, this guy... This guy is a real legend and I, I can't understand how he, he defends, like, the well, current product, 2018 now. I sometimes don't understand how he can defend, like, the, the current product in 2018. Cause this guy was a, a fucking legend. Like, easily the most hardcore wrestler ever. The bumps he took were just insane. But not only that, this guy is underrated on the mic and by far, by far, one of the best, if not the best promo guy when it just comes to shooting and um, you know that that whole um, just that passionate fucking feel, that emotion in his promo like yeah The Rock can say funny shit and all that but I mean Mick Foley has to be up there when it in, in all time, I mean you don't see Mick Foley writing a script on his wrist, you don't see that, you don't see him being fed funny jokes or funny catchphrases, this guy just fucking shoots from the heart and the pure emotion that his promos deliver is fucking insane and, and this was great and he was basically saying how he traded in his big e uh, WCW contract living in a big house to come to this shitey ECW bingo hall smelling a piss getting hardly any money and he doesn't want Tommy Dreamer to do the same mistake he made Tommy Dreamer turned down WCW or he hasn't turned him down yet. Well, he has turned him down, but Mick Foley's like, go he wants to try and get Tommy Dreamer to go. Is he, is he going to beat him out of him? He's going to beat him up and make him, actually make him sign the contract. Whereas Mick Foley says his time in WCW is gone. He would not be welcome back with open arms, but there's still time for Tommy Dreamer. This was fantastic. In terms of promos, got to give this a 10. This was a 10 out of 10 promo. No fucking doubt about it. No doubt in my mind this was 10 out of 10. Fantastic job for Mick Foley. Then we went on to a, a, pro, a Dudley promo. It was none of the no, more, I think it was Dudley Dudley and Big Dick Dudley. It was nothing really happened and then Big Dick Dudley just gave this creepy fucking stare man. Mental. And then we go to a Tommy Dreamer promo and this was good man. This uh, He was addressing everything that Foley said. He was on about Foley got where he is because he's hardcore, because he's extreme and that he might not change Foley's mind but he'll die trying, he put over a lot of the ECW guys, he says that every guy in ECW puts their body on the line, deserve to be over there, this was good but if you compare it to Foley's obviously it's kind of shit but it, it was a good promo and it's all and uh, I'd probably give this like a 6 or a 7 out of 10, it was, it was decent and then we moved on to this like highlights package, it was a very weird six minutes. It was like a six, a six minutes uh, package showing you Tommy Dreamer and Foley. Just, I mean, there was no real. It was like generic music, and <laughs> it was weird. I guess this was just the full time in the show. Could be that. I'm not quite sure. And then in the main event with the tag team titles on the line, the Pitbull taking on Raven and Stevie Richards, double dog collar matchup, two out of three falls, and. Uh, the Pitbulls ended up winning. The stipulation was if the Pitbulls lost, they would have to disband as a team forever. But they didn't lose. They managed to win the tag titles from Raven and Steve Richards. Uh, then at the end, you had a big massive fucking brawl. Tommy Dreamer came out, 991 came out, Bill Afonso got bloody choke slammed from about 20 feet up in the air, man, driven to the mat. It was a crazy ending. It was a decent match, man. It was hardcore. There was blood. There was table spots. It was a good match. I'd give this, especially for a TV match, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10. It was, it was not a classic, like, but it was for TV, this was good. So, overall, I am going to give this show a 7 out of 10. Because there was some really... The, the Mick Foley promo was fucking epic. And then the Tommy Dreamer promo in the main event was good. Wasn't a big fan of the, the Dudley promo and obviously the highlight package with Dreamer and Foley kind of just dragged on for six minutes too long. It kind of accomplished nothing. I mean, with, those, with Mick Foley's promo and Tommy Dreamer's promo, he didn't need a six minute package. I thought that was overkill. But like I said, maybe they're just trying to fill out the time available in the show. But anyway guys, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. And I can honestly say this has been the most enjoyable 
of the shows I've watched so far. Now yes, I've only watched six shows, two of each, two of ECW, two of WCW and two of uh, WWF, but like, yeah man, this was, that Mick Foley promo was the best thing that I've seen during the six shows of watching these classic uh, wrestling shows. So uh, there you go guys, let me know what you think down below, and actually let me know who you think is the top, who do you think is the top promo guy of all time? Do you think Mick Foley be, can, uh, can be considered for the top spot? Because I think he can. 7 out of 10 guys, till next time, peace.